Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector himself. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing a couple bootleg Transformers figures along with a couple Transformers masks. But before we get on to the review, we're going to talk about these figures. They don't have any names for these figures, but I do have some names cooked up for them on their tags. We got Quick Knight. That's the green one. L Leader Knight. And that's what I'm calling the yellow one. So that's the names I've given these two knockoffs I don't have names for. But now it's been a minute. Let's get down to rolling these things. They roll very well for knockoffs. I didn't expect them to roll that good. But now for comparison with some other knockoffs, here we got a custom knockoff next to the others. Why not? This one's smaller. Jet knockoff. Here's a knockoff Minicon. Why not? And that's all there is to say for comparisons. Let's look at the undercarriage. Got visible robot head and arm syndrome and feet syndrome. But to transform these are very simple. You're going to flip these arms out like so. Disconnect them like so. Pull the out like that. Flip down this to form the chest of the robot for green, for the quick, quick night green. So let's flip down his feet because that's what we're calling him, quick night green. And we can raise his feet to make his feet longer, which is optional. So yeah, he doesn't have any weapons. I got this guy from the Goodwill outlet. Is he a terrible knockoff? Uh... Yeah, a little bit. I might go over and paint his eyes, because I don't like him not having any eyes. Made with a blue Sharpie, make him a last night crosshairs with the blue eyes or something. But otherwise, he'll make a good crosshairs fill-in for my last night movie collection. Articulation. Arms go that far. Got a hinged arm, no finger or hand movement. Same goes for the other arm. Legs have no knee bend. Real shame. But it is a knockoff, so it's not a very good knockoff. If I can get him to stand properly, that's the trick. Because he doesn't like standing for some reason on my copy here. Can we get this knock off the stand? Apparently not. So we're going to lean him up against the back. And now we're going to do some comparisons in the front. Once I get him situated against the back. Because he is top heavy. I'll tell you, this knock off is top heavy. So he easily tips over for a knock off. All right. Here we got a Dollar Tree knockoff, as you can see, a lot smaller than these big knockoffs. Now for the Minicon knockoff. He's supposed to be a Star Saber Minicon knockoff. So here he is, a lot smaller than Quick Knight. That's what I call him. So yeah, I do come up with some names for these when I get the chance to name my figures. But now we're going to transform Leader Knight, which is very simple. Same second verse, just the first. Pull out the arms. And then we're going to unpeg the arms. Pull these out. See these hinges right here? Pull out. And then you get it to go over the chest. Like so. It does look like a bumblebee with the head sculpt in the car mode. That is a similarity, but it is pretty cool. Similarity. 
Will he stand if I raise his legs, or will he just tip over? If you get the feet situated, they will stand. If not, they won't stand up. So, yeah. But here we got Quick Knight and Knight and Lancer Knight. And these are like knockoff Transformers. So they're cheap plastic. They're really thin and cheap. And that's my only nitpick with them. Other than that, they're pretty good. Once you get them standing and situated, of course. Other than that, they don't like standing up at all. If I can get them to situate stand in, that would be great. But other than that, they don't like to stand in. Green Lancer Knight does not want to stand for me. I tried like a bunch of different times in this video. So yeah, do they look good together? Yes. Are they completely terrible? Um, maybe a little bit with the eye color, the eyes not colored in. But other than that, I can fix that with ease and put them on the shelf. They're not terrible knockoffs, so yeah, they're not terrible. They're not official licensed Hasbro Transformers figures. So other than that, they're pretty cool, even though they're not licensed. But now we're going to look at the last couple things we have on the table and move Quick Knight and Lancer Knight to the shelf until so I can put them away. Next on the list, we got this strong arm mask. I got this from the thrift store a long time ago. They're glasses, so some kid can wear them and be like, oh, I'm strong arm. And yeah, that's the gimmick with these masks. I have like a few of those. Next on the list, we have a last night movie Optimus Prime mask and be like doing his voice and be like I am Optimus Prime and I send this message to any Autobots throughout the stars. We are here. We are waiting. And that's my Optimus Prime from the Michael Bay impression. I couldn't help it. If you like this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like Please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out. YouTube land.